Hello and welcome to Government Canyon. My name is Teresa Edwards and I'm one of the resource specialists out here at this really, really fantastic state natural area out in San Antonio, Texas. We are a natural area out here, which is just a little bit different than a state park. So as a natural area, our primary mission at Government Canyon is the protection of our natural and our cultural resources. And the biggest resource that we're here to protect is known as the Edwards Aquifer, which is where all San Antonio gets our drinking water from. It's a really, really special place and we're gonna learn a lot about it today. So Government Canyon is home to the Edwards Aquifer. Now, what is an aquifer? Um, an aquifer is an underground water resource, so it is water that it lives underground. And that water doesn't generally live underground in like lakes or rivers. It's usually underground as water, the particles that are just between the little particles of dirt and silt and mud that are underneath the surface of the ground. How does the water get there? So in San Antonio, you guys might have seen some rocks that look like this lying around all over the ground. Uh, this rock is a really special kind of rock. It's called limestone. And limestone has this really cool feature where water slightly dissolves it every time it hits it. So limestone is holy. And that's holy limestone rocks are what allow water to get underground into our aquifer. So when it rains, rain falls down onto these holy limestone rocks and the water goes through those holes, down underground, into the aquifer. And that's how we fill our aquifer back up. Uh, aquifers are these really, really cool giant spaces of land under which all of our drinking water exists. So an aquifer is an underground water reservoir um, where water exists essentially between the particles of dirt and mud that are underneath the ground. At Government Canyon, our aquifer is known as the Edwards Aquifer. And the reason that we have the Edwards Aquifer here is because we have a really special kind of rock. That rock is called limestone. You guys might have seen it if you live in San Antonio. If not, uh, it's, it's a really cool sedimentary rock, which means that it was formed via compression of layers on top of layers on top of layers. Uh, the reason that we have this limestone out here is because Texas used to be an old sea floor. So over the years, creators lived in that ocean, died in that ocean, and then fell to the surface of the ocean. And then more critters lived and they died and they fell down to the surface of the ocean. And as all of those layers and layers of dead creatures kept piling up and the water kept pushing and pushing and pushing down on top of them, they essentially calcified or falsified into, false, wow, they calcified into sedimentary rock, into this limestone. So this limestone is actually made up of all of the dead organisms that used to be inside of the sea that used to cover Texas. So this limestone is all over the ground out here. If you guys can imagine, this picnic table is actually the surface of the ground. So you can imagine this holy limestone rock on top of that surface of the ground. When it rains out here, rain comes down, it falls down over the top of the surface of the ground covered in limestone, and it goes through the holes that are in this limestone. And as that water goes down through those holes, it seeps down into the ground, down into the aquifer. So down underneath the ground. And that's how we get water into our aquifer. Now, if you think about it, water in an aquifer comes out eventually, right? So we use water as human beings for watering our grass, watering our lawn, drinking, flushing our toilets, all sorts of things. And every time we use water, we take just a little bit out of the aquifer. And that's fine, like we need to use water for things. But if we use too much water, we start emptying out that aquifer. And that's kind of a scary thing because if you empty out your aquifer, you can't refill it. You can't just get water from somewhere else and put it back into your aquifer. You have to wait for it to rain again before water can come back down into your aquifer. Which is why it's really important that we as humans work on trying to figure out how we can individually in our own lives save water. How can we conserve water in our own lives? Cool, well, here we are in uh, Government Canyon Creek. This is actually an area that sometimes we'll show off for guided hikes. It's not on the trail, so it's in a publicly accessible area outside of our guided hikes. But uh, my name's Ranger Nick. I'm the superintendent out of Government Canyon State Natural Area. We're down here in this creek way. And uh, a lot of our stream beds, you'll notice, are dry. That's because we are over the Edwards Aquifer Recharge Zone. Even after a large rain event, all that water will dissipate and disappear very quickly. And a lot of these streams are what we call losing streams. That's because that water, as it travels down the creekway, 
disappears under the ground through all sorts of cracks, fissures, holes, and through all sorts of things we like to call karst features. Um, one of those features we've got right here behind me, uh, if I don't know how well you can zoom in on this, but if you look right here, right here, right here, and all along the ground, kind of trending left to right in front of me here, we have a series of holes. And all these holes are openings that go through the limestone. And they tend to develop right along a fracture line, a place where the rock is weak and is cracked and crumbled a little bit, and uh, is more uh, easy to be weathered away. Limestone is extremely susceptible to uh, weathering. Um, it's made out of calcium carbonate and rainwater will actually form a weak acid that'll help wear it away. So you get all these holes here that develop in areas that are already kind of weak. The rainwater gets into them, they make them bigger. And that, as that rainwater seeps through into the Edwards Aquifer. If you want to find more information about the geography, the geology of the Edwards Aquifer, you can go to the Edwards Aquifer Authority webpage, or you can go to the Texas Parks and Wildlife webpage and check out Government Canyon, and, or talk to a ranger, and we can answer all your questions.